In fluid dynamics, Green's law describes the evolution of non-breaking surface gravity waves propagating in shallow water of gradually varying depth and width. The law is named after George Green. In its simplest form, for wave fronts and depth contours parallel to each other and the coast, it states h 1 h 1 4 equals h 2 h 2 4 Display style H underscore one C D O T S Q R T four H underscore one equals H underscore two C D O T S Q R T four H underscore two or H one four H one equals H two four H two Display style left H underscore one right carrot four C D O T H underscore one equals left H underscore two right carrot four C D O T H underscore two where H one Display style H underscore one and H Two display style h underscore two are the wave heights at two different locations, one and two respectively, where the wave passes, and h one display style h underscore one and h two display style h underscore two are the mean water depths at the same two locations. Green's law is often used in coastal engineering for the modeling of long shoaling waves on a beach, with long meaning wavelengths in excess of about 20 times the mean water depth. Tsunamis shoal change their height in accordance with this law, as they propagate, governed by refraction and diffraction, through the ocean and up the continental shelf. Very close to and running up the coast, nonlinear effects become important, and Green's law no longer applies. Topic <description>, description. According to this law, which is based on linearized shallow water equations, the spatial variations of the wave height h display style h twice the amplitude a display style a for sine waves equal to the amplitude for a solitary wave for traveling waves in water of mean depth h display style h and width b display style b in case of an open channel satisfy h B H four equals constant display style H sqrt B sqrt four H equals text constant where H four display style sqrt four H is the fourth root of H display style h consequently when considering two cross sections of an open channel labeled 1 and 2 the wave height in section 2 is h 2 equals b 1 b 2 h 1 h 2 4 h 1 display style h underscore 2 equals sqrt frac b underscore 1 b underscore 2 sqrt 4 frac h underscore 1 h underscore 2 h underscore 1 
with the subscripts 1 and 2 denoting quantities in the associated cross-section. So, when the depth has decreased by a factor 16, the waves become twice as high. And the wave height doubles after the channel width has gradually been reduced by a factor 4. For wave propagation perpendicular towards a straight coast with depth contours parallel to the coastline, take b display style b a constant, say 1 meter or yard. For refracting long waves in the ocean or near the coast, the width b display style b can be interpreted as the distance between wave rays. The rays and the changes in spacing between them follow from the geometrical optics approximation to the linear wave propagation. In case of straight parallel depth contours this simplifies to the use of Snell's law. Green published his results in 1838, based on a method, the Liouville-Green method, which would evolve into what is now known as the WKB approximation. Green's law also corresponds to constancy of the mean horizontal wave energy flux for long waves. B G H 1 8 rho G H 2 equals constant Display style b sqrt gh tfrac 1 8 rho gh caret 2 equals text constant, where g h display style sqrt gh is the group speed equal to the phase speed in shallow water. 1 8 rho g h 2 equals 1 2 rho g a 2 display style tfrac 1 8 rho g h caret 2 equals tfrac 1 2 rho gar caret 2 is the mean wave energy density integrated over depth and per unit of horizontal area g display style g is the gravitational acceleration and rho display style rho is the water density topic <laughs> wavelength and period Further, from Green's analysis, the wavelength lambda display style lambda of the wave shortens during shoaling into shallow water with lambda g h equals constant display style frac lambda sqrt g h equals text constant along a wave ray the oscillation period and therefore also the frequency of shulling waves does not change according to green's linear theory topic <laughs> derivation green derived his shulling law for water waves by use of what is now known as the liouville green method applicable to gradual variations in depth h display style h and width b display style b along the path of wave propagation equals equals notes <laughs>